It wasn't until I took on Ayurveda that I really found my bliss. Studying with Kerala Ayurveda back in 2015, when I was living and working at an Ayurvedic clinic in Ubud in Bali. And Ayurveda really changed my life, not only personally, but professionally also. I was taking a yoga therapy training at Mount Royal University in Calgary, and one of the lectures was on Ayurveda. At that moment, Ayurveda re-entered my life, and this time I was paying attention. And I made a decision to look for an Ayurvedic school and a teacher where I could study. There is a saying that when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Based on my personal life situations last year, I am definitely sure I needed Ayurveda in my life which is when I discovered Kerala Ayurveda and the entire school appeared in front of me. Talking to prospective students and supporting them on their journey is so gratifying. It's an educational and professional journey, but really at its core, it's one of growth and healing. What was my motivation behind enrolling in this program? Well, let's go all the way back to 2013, when my life was turned upside down. After eight months of gastrointestinal and digestive symptoms, I was finally diagnosed with an extremely rare type of inflammatory bowel disease. Doctors did not expect I would survive. I can still remember my first series of Abhyanga and Chiridharas I had. I was exhausted after the treatments and I thought there was something wrong with the treatments. I soon realized that it was my body's way of telling me to stop. Embracing Ayurveda has transformed me with a whole new look and feel. I can do more than I thought I could. Ayurveda has helped me to identify my strength, both in my physical form and in my emotional state. As a result of which, earlier I was in corporate sector, but after coming to Ayurveda, I understood that my passion is to heal myself and people around me. I got my voice because of Ayurveda. The modules in the program, the Ayurvedic philosophy and the basic principles to clinical management, each one of them was connected so well that it felt to me like a song, like the beads of a mala, a garland connected and threaded together. I have received my Panchakarma Technician Certificate from Kerala and it's been the best education ever. I really feel confident in what I'm doing in Panchakarma thanks to their teaching. And I also just completed my internship through Kerala Ayurveda and again it has really made me a solid practitioner and a confident one. There is something inside of me that shines when I can be involved with Ayurveda either through learning, sharing, teaching or practicing. I was so passionate about Ayurveda, as we all are, that I wanted to spread this wisdom far and wide. So in 2017, I started a podcast. The journey over the past few years with this podcast has been amazing. I get to interview inspiring people and I get to continue to learn. I always wanted to integrate modern medicine with a more holistic and natural means of healing. I felt Ayurveda was the way to go to my dream. The principles of Ayurveda really instilled within me this confidence that there is a very logical and palatable way to help society understand the importance of mindful living and taking care of your mind, body, and soul. For me, as a registered nurse, when I found Ayurveda over 10 years ago, it was the missing link. It was exactly what I knew people needed in order for them to prevent disease, reverse chronic disease, and to slow down the aging process. It's Ayurveda. I spent about five years taking a lot of pharmaceuticals of really only living a half life because even though my disease was in remission, I still had a lot of symptoms. And I decided there had to be a better way. And that is where I discovered the powerful concept of holistic medicine and the whole idea that food can be medicine. In the beginning of my journey with my clients, they're not always able to articulate what is actually going on in their body. Like I used to be, my clients were living in their head. Sometimes helping a person heal does not have to be more complicated than allowing the client to hear and guide themselves towards these Ayurvedic principles and to be able to heal as an individual. On my journey with Ayurveda, I learned how to live life in an easy and effortless way by following daily and seasonal regimens known as Dhimacharya and Ritucharya, which were 
described in detail in the Vedic text. This is where I see my clients when they come in for an Ayurvedic consultation in person or for follow-ups. And it's also where I conduct my panchakarma treatments and all my Ayurvedic body treatments. Seeing them be successful in with their health is, is so inspiring to me. And so I keep going because of that. If the students I mentor succeed, then I feel that I have succeeded. Their success motivates me to keep going. I have noticed increase in my health and good health. I have noticed more balance within my body and have noticed more balance for my friends and family, being able to assist them, being able to serve them. Perhaps I should be paying more attention to what I'm eating. Perhaps I should be making better decisions when it comes to practicing self-care and managing stress. I discovered meditation, which I never thought I'd be able to do, become a daily practice and a habit that I joyfully embrace. We love to see the transformation of our students and working for the Academy, it's so inspiring to me to see how the students have changed and evolved throughout the programs and beyond. We call ourselves the Kerala family because the bonds between the students, mentors, faculty and practitioner is so profound. I am blessed and grateful for this opportunity to be able not to only take care of myself, but also to help our community uh, to be more healthier, happier, and to live life in harmony with oneself and our mother nature. Nature selflessly provides us with every resource we need to live and enjoy life, but she holds some secrets, and that is really what inspires me to keep studying Ayurveda. Ayurveda has revealed some of these secrets to me, such as how to eat meals, how to calm the mind, how to work with medicinal plants, and how to see every individual as both unique and the same. In my family, there are many people, old people, most of them are suffering from chronic diseases for which they are taking medications for almost 30 to 36 years. They often fall ill due to immunity deficiency reasons. Now, with, by learning Ayurveda, I understand which doshas has gone out of balance and which guna of dosha has gone off out of balance so that I am capable of designing the pathya and the aushad necessary in consultation with my teachers and mentors. Last year, due to the COVID pandemic, I moved back to Ireland to be closer to my family. Thankfully, I was able to continue to work because my business, Elements Healing and Wellbeing, is online. So I'm so grateful that I was able to continue to work and continue with my objective for my business, which is to help people to connect to their true nature, to mother nature, and to each other. Practicing within the Western medical system, it's really given me the experience of seeing what works and what does not work. And I know that Ayurveda works. It's common sense and it's something that every human can understand and put into practice regardless of age, gender, uh, ethnicity, race. And it just, it makes sense. I strongly believe Ayurveda, the Dhinacharya principles of Ayurveda, is a way to keep ama away. I enjoy transforming people Ayurvedically. I focus more on simple and practical modifications with Ahara and Vihara, and it really works. Simplicity is not something we see in North America as useful. I think we tend to believe that the more complicated and the more scientific research that is attached to a concept, the better it is. In the words of the beautiful Albert Einstein, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. So I discovered this power of natural healing that I learned about what Ayurveda was. And it wasn't until I was well on my path to natural healing that I understood that in fact what I'd been practicing all along was in fact Ayurveda. I just didn't have a name for it. Healing is our birthright. It is a natural process and it's an essential part of our process of growth as human beings, even in forming our spiritual evolution. Fundamentally, what I would like to see with Ayurveda is sharing this knowledge and the practices and tools with people so that each one of us can go on our own journey to becoming more empowered, to understanding what health actually is, and being able to cultivate it in simple ways that are reachable for each one of us on a daily basis. The way that we walk on this beautiful planet 
the way that we connect with one another. There are limitations to practicing Ayurveda in the US, but we continue to show steady progress. My dream is to see everyone embracing Ayurveda in their daily lives. Not only do I feel inspired to keep going, inspired for the future, but also inspired for now, inspired for my present reality. I ultimately intend on getting into the school systems and I want to instill within our children this sense of ownership of their health and I want to show them that fresh is better than packaged. I want to teach them the 20 qualities, I want to teach them the six tastes. Being a foodie, I love to eat, I love to serve good food to my family. There was a time when we were forgetting the art of Indian cooking and we were adapting many of the fusion cookings. As a result, there was always a problem here related to digestive issues. It is one of the gift of Ayurveda, which has helped me to evolve as a better cook who understands the body and customize the food for her and her family itself too. My dream is to someday return to my small hometown in Wisconsin and build an Ayurveda and yoga practice there. For now, I just want to open the door for as many people as I can reach and help them better understand yoga and Ayurveda. I believe that through our Ayurvedic practices, we have an opportunity and an obligation to teach our clients to be their own healers and to give them back the power to make decisions about their health and healing themselves. We are all guides to teaching people a new but ancient way of thinking about health and about the world around them. It became clear to me that my illness was the catalyst for what has become a lifelong journey to find my mission in life and that is to help others with chronic illness obtain and maintain long-term optimal health. It's inspiring to me to understand that as we heal ourselves, we naturally connect with nature and heal our environment. And we naturally begin to heal our relationships with others, with our family, with our loved ones, with our communities. And in this way, we generate healing throughout the entire world. So it's like a ripple effect that just continues to spread. It just continues to go. Very beautiful. Ayurveda is an ocean of knowledge, and I'm constantly inspired by this ancient wisdom. We are about two and a half months or so away from our Ayurvedic Wellness Counselor graduation ceremony. I am certainly excited for that, but I am even more excited to have my first weekend intensive class in May 2021 this year for my Ayurvedic Wellness Practitioner program. I have already signed up for that and I am super excited to further my Ayurvedic journey at Kerala Ayurveda. Continue to come back for more because as you know, Ayurveda is an ocean. You can never stop learning. Ayurveda is an ocean as it provides us limitless possibilities to sustain healthy, harmonious, happy, peaceful, long life. Navamasa Dudham Garbham Bhaskarasya Gabasti Bihi Pitwara Sam Samudranam Dioprasude Rasayanam The ocean is the reason for sustenance of life. The sky draws water from the ocean through the rays of the sun, conceives it for nine months, and gives birth to the rain in appropriate season to sustain life and to rejuvenate all the living beings on the earth. Remember that while the journey never ends, you are exactly where you are meant to be now. We are creating waves. Thank you, NAMA members who have taken this initiative to make us vocal on an international platform. It is a prayer for everybody, for all participants, for all my co-learners, my teachers, my mentors, and chair members, and board members. I wish good health Stay happy, stay blessed. Namaskar, Pranam. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this video is meaningful to you and this video sparks or ignites a spark of motivation and enthusiasm to you to set yourselves up the boat for this Ayurvedic journey in the vast, vast ocean of Ayurveda. I am grateful to my school, Kerala Academy, and all of its staff who have dedicated their lives to sharing and teaching authentic Ayurveda and who have graciously invited all the students to be a part of this big, beautiful family. Thank you.